Well, I'm here at the Novozyme stand, standing right next to this rather stunning looking award. Um, Martin Indergaard, congratulations. Now, you've obviously won this award for innovation in technology. Can you tell us a little bit about what that innovation is, what that technology is behind it? Well, the uh, the innovation is in, uh, in Novozyme's understanding our, our customers' uh, production process, basically for making low lactose milk products. Uh, and seeing that they have challenges with, with the current methods of measuring lactose uh, in those uh, dairy products. Um, they, 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 the equipment you need for that these days are uh, expensive and it, it requires skilled technicians. So we developed this fast and, and easy, um, very convenient solution in terms of, uh, or for the purpose of, of detecting um, lactose, or measuring the lactose basically. Well, let's have a look at it. So this is the, the lacto monitor that we can see. Well, uh, Martin's just going to get out of the case now. Um, now, obviously, the reason that you want to find out how much lactose is still remaining in milk, I suppose, is for people that are lactose intolerant. And that would be the reason that they're buying the milk, because they want a lactose-free milk. Correct. Our, our customers are, are the uh, dairies that are making these um, low, low lactose products um, for the, the consumers who might be uh, lactose intolerant uh, and needing this lactose uh, broken down in the milk products. Um, so, so we want to make that process as easy as possible for the dairies that are, that are our customers. I mean, can we test it out here, or is that too complicated? No, no, it's, it's, well, we, we would require some milk and some uh, some lactase, uh, so the actual enzyme. We are doing demonstrations, uh, just not not right now, but we are doing demonstrations during the day, so, so you can come and see. Uh, come down and have a look. Yeah, get down to the no, Novozymes uh, stand, and you can have a demonstration. Um, let's talk, I suppose, a little bit more about the company as well. You know, your industry leaders in, in sort of the biological technology within the food industry. What are the sort of big things that you're doing in 2016? Well, we're certainly expanding a lot in, uh, with, within the low lactose. Uh, Novozymes really wants to position ourselves as the innovators in, uh, in, in, in low lactose, or lactases, which are enzymes, which yeah. is what we produce within, um, for, for low lactose applications. But, but in, in, in general, we, are, we, want, we, well, we want to innovate our enzymes for various food uh, applications. Novozymes is present in a lot of different industries. Uh, so so it really, it's very diverse uh, where we apply our enzymes. Yeah. And, and in terms of, of the business itself, and I suppose the, the main objectives, you're kind of using enzymes, you're using that microbial technology to, to what, to increase yields? You know, what, what is it that you're helping the supplier do? Well, enzymes are natural catalysts, so they will speed up processes and they will keep, uh, keep going these biological processes. I think one of the, one of the easiest way to understand enzymes is that, the, that we naturally have quite a few enzymes in our body. So, so this is what, what, what we do as organisms as well. We have, we have enzymes in our spit that, that starts digesting food. And we have, for instance, lactases as well in our gut system to break down lactose when we drink milk. Um, so, so th these are the kind of products that we then we we, we manufacture the enzymes and we, uh, we we well sell them to our customers who then will put them in different uh, food processes basically. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Um, thank you again for, for joining us, Martin, and, and telling us about the company. Um, do come down, have a chat with these guys, and uh, look at the Lacto Monitor. Um, you know, we can get, get, a, get a demonstration in, uh, in view of the Lacto Monitor. And congratulations once again on uh, this fantastic achievement. Well done. Thanks, Martin.